Back with Bobby and JJ Radio, we have the awesome Mr. Marcus Andrews, the owner and creative director of M. Andrews Sartorial Luxury. He is by far the most impactful person in fashion here in the San Antonio metro area. We're so happy to have him back here in the studio talking about his awesome custom-made products. So we were talking before the quick break. So I walk into your shop. We, I tell you I want a custom suit. You kind of steer me into the right direction of telling me why do you want this particular garment. Correct. Is it for a gala? Is it for a wedding? Is it something that you're going to wear five days a week or you know once a, a week to, to your business, right? And then from there you start to get into the fabrics, right? Yes, sir. And then walk me past after that point. Um, so once we get into the fabrics um, and once we've picked something, I like to go directly into the measuring. Um, want to figure out what kind of build you're looking for because uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a big guy or a small guy there's still different silhouettes that fit on each um, so even big guys like myself can look for something more tapered um, and then even small guys can look for something that have a little bit more room uh, once we get past that then we start going into the details so everything about our garments is selectable um, by the client that's coming in and that's from buttons from where you want the buttons to sit whether you want the buttons to work the thread color um, the lining on the inside, the width of the lapel, every single part of that, we, we go through each one of those to make sure that we're getting the suit exactly the way that you want it. And what's the turnaround time to get one back? We usually take about four to six weeks to get everything done. And our tailors are located in Tennessee. They make everything by hand. So we have one of the only handcrafted suits that I know of that exists in this city. Um, and it, it's truly a beautiful product when it is done. Sure. Um, one of the things I, I do notice that I, I don't really do is I don't really discuss cost until after we've gone through the process. Right. Um, so you get them hooked and then you let them know what it costs. <laughs> the whole bait and switch, I get it. Well, it, it's I think it's because I don't want people going in um, shopping that way. You know, it, it's just like when you go to buy a home, you, you should, of course, you should have a budget. We should have but, a ceiling. But you should shop based on what you need. Right. You know, if you if you have a, a particular neighborhood that you desire to be in or you have a particular size home or you have particular features, uh, then get what you need, get what you want, and then figure out a ma way to make it work. Um, it's the same thing with shopping. That's how we shortchange ourselves. You go in with, you know, a, a particular budget. You pick the cheapest thing you can, and it ends up falling apart on you anyway. Mm -hmm. And then it, it completely ruins the buyer experience. I have a friend. Well, my wife has a friend, a really close friend. I'm going to call her out. But she shops constantly. And it's like every time she goes out, it's like, you know, but it's it's Ross. And it's it's these other things. She She's never, I've never seen her wear a, like a shirt twice. I, I can tell you that. But they're not, it's not quality. So she went for quantity, yeah. correct. not quality. I think she just likes to shop. She has the... She has that fulfillment when she leaves somewhere. She, she got something and she can wear it that weekend or whatever. Can I call her out? I know who it is. <laughs> no, can, can I say, I'll say the first letter? No, no, please don't. Um, but where my wife and, and her other friend, they're more like, no, I want something really nice that you know I'm going to wear it with different stuff. And then it, you're not going to realize, even if you do a selfie a day, people are going to be like, that's the same exact shirt that she wore at that other thing. But it's just really more, you know, like you said, it's people that have the mindset of going in and getting something cheap just because they feel they can afford that right. but if you get something quality it's going to be uh, last forever especially for men it's a lot easier for us but right. let's talk about the the smartest thing you ever taught me and you've taught me a lot by the way of fashion really yeah you have so um he says that and look at the sh look at the jeans <laughs> <line. laughs> yeah. it's not bad dude it's not bad um what's the difference between style and fashion okay so style is something um, style for me and, and style by definition is, is the way that you wear your clothes, um, the way that you express yourself. Um, of course, there are certain rules to follow, you know, in the, I guess you would say the, the general classic dressing sense that, that will help guide your style or your style. Right. But for the most part, style is timeless. It's something that fits you. It's something that, um, that fits the environment you're in. Fashion is a trend. Uh, fashion comes and goes. You Somebody may wake up tomorrow and decide to put yellow laces in one shoe and purple laces in the other shoe. And if someone else sees them, then that's what they start wearing. They start mimicking it. And all of a sudden it becomes the thing. But eventually at some point, someone will change that thing and that old thing will now be not a thing anymore. And don't, Whereas, don't you agree that sometimes the style and fashion hit at the same time and then people say, oh, wow, I can be stylish and fashionable. Well, yeah, exactly. And, and, I, then, the and then the 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 fashion changes and then they go with the next 
fashion trend. It doesn't look too good, though. <laughs> right? I, ha- I have that happens to a lot of people. I have seen examples of that. Um, but like I was saying, like like having style, having you know, having your own uh, personal sense of dress, or having your own way of putting things together, that that'll stay timeless. That'll never go. Um, that'll never go away because you 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 have an understanding of what looks good on you. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much so, it. So like, if me and Bobby have this uh, running bet that we can tell when a, when a guy um, got married, right? Yeah. How, how do we know, Bob? So you can tell when he got married. What decade, by, at least? By the the what he's wearing, you know, <laughs> or or the cologne that he wears. A lot of times, like. You can tell if he's wearing Aqua Geo, he was clubbing in the in the early two thousands, <laughs> or if he's wearing Dracar, he was doing it in the late eighties. You know, yeah, like yeah. yeah. So it's it's they always get stuck. It's like they get married and then fashion kind of stops for them and they sure. just they stay in that. But that kind of that kind of just blends into what what Mark is saying because if you get a custom made suit that looks good on you, the lapel looks good on your body style, the cut looks good with either you being husky like myself or skinny like some other people, um, it's gonna look good on you 10 years from now that's correct and and we can see some money dudes that that we know that he's been money for a long time but it's just the style like my man's wearing a double breasted suit it works it works yeah it works for him because it just fits his body style i don't think he would that would work for like my son for instance which he's tiny he has like like his shoulder blades are like that far apart so <laughs> so but that's the style that, that you're talking about that's time yes, it's timeless when you can know you're gonna buy a suit you're gonna spend more money on it but it's gonna look good five ten years from now and people were wearing, you know, blue blazers, double-breasted blazers 20, 30 years ago. Right. And so to see somebody wear it today and it still looks good, it still looks appropriate, yeah. I don't look dated. Nope. You know, that's that's an example of having great style. Right. But if I were to wear, you know, a, a black trench coat everywhere, that would be weird. Well, I just didn't mean, get arrested. Too. I didn't understand why you why you threw in the the white gym socks. That kind of threw me yeah. off. Yeah, that, that's more fashion. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that's more fashion. So I think if anyone's listening out there, any male or even female is listening out there, they they need to take a just a stroll down to your shop. And What's the address? The address is uh, 362 West Sunset Road. Right, it's right across from where that uh, Home Depot is, right off yes, two to one. And maybe force their guy, force their guy to go down there and talk to you, hang out, have a cigar, have a brandy, because I've done that too. Uh, look at all the stuff that you have available. Sit down with Marcus, uh, have him talk to you about style and fashion and what fits you. At that point, that relationship will build into something where you can either get a custom suit, a custom shirt, uh, some custom shoes that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. But I think that relationship will definitely build once you get down there. And you can also reach Marcus at 210-657-0300. Again, that's 210-657-0300. Or check out his website, mandrewsluxury.com. Mm-hmm.